Galaxia. Today, we're gonna be looking at the craziest alphabet lore origin story ever! Wow, it's blue from Rainbow Friends! And orange! Party! <laughs> Family, today we're gonna be watching two different alphabet lore origin stories. And you have to decide which one out of the two is real. Is it origin story number one or origin story number two? Watch to the end to find out. And if you smash like on today's video, I know you're gonna get the answer right. And that makes you a genius. To smash like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what, what's going on with Red? What, why is he transforming? Red is transforming into the alphabet lore! It's a letter A! And now Blue from Rainbow Friends is transforming into... B? What about Orange? What's he transforming into? C! Now green, he's transforming into D. Stop. Here comes the alphabet lore. And they're ready to fight F. <laughs> I guess that's one way to oof them. Yeah, I don't think they're recovering from that. Family, now it's time for the second alphabet lore origin story. Is this the real origin story or is this one the imposter? Watch the end of the video to find out. There are many ways to interpret all the letters in the alphabet. For instance, A could stand for apples, an amazing and appetizing treat. Oh, I love apples. But usually only an apple pie. Y'all got any of that that we could share? Family, comment down below story as the secret word of today's video. And I'll heart your comment. B could be for a big, beautiful butterfly fluttering through the sky. And C could be all sorts of things. Calm. C. Courageous. C. Capitally. C. Crazy. C. Or even cool. C. But all too often, D has stood for death. <laughs> D for da 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 Oof! Oh man, family, this origin story is starting to get kind of creepy. Let's keep watching. Yes, this is a story about the most evil of all the letters, F, and how it became the villain it is today. You see, F had started to attack various seemingly random letters of the alphabet, picking them off one by one. Oh man, family, this is the origin story of the letter F! And how he got to be so evil! He started locking up his victims in handcuffs deep inside the caverns of his mountain fortress. D and E had no idea why they were being taken captive, but clearly something was wrong with F. He had changed from when they were young, and not for the better. Of course, there were those who looked to end his reign of terror. G called out with his horn to enlist the help of his ABC allies. Together, they formed a cab and swore to track down F to the ends of the earth. Ooh, we're going on a field trip to uh, hopefully save the world and take down F. But they were too late to save H. His faint ghostly body faded away like dust in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry family, that was funny. Sorry H. And even that was a better fate than that of I. I. The poor little guy was jumped on and squashed repeatedly, eventually becoming a diabolical weapon used by F against the other alphabet letters. J was incinerated instantly, never to be heard from again. While K was left in a state of shock, having just witnessed the death of his dearest friend. No! Mercy on him, he forced K to become a set of rapid flapping wings that allowed him to soar through the air. 
Meanwhile, G, C, A, and B drove furiously towards the chaos in order to defeat F and his new unwilling partners. Though, when they finally arrived, they discovered I was too powerful. He charged up an enormous shot enough to wipe them all from the alphabet for good. G, C, A, and B huddled together, bracing for certain death. Luckily for them, L showed up to save the day just in the nick of time, along with his entire group of superheroes, LMNOP. Wow, family, they did it! When they came together as friends, they were strong enough to beat him! LMNOP. You see, they were seen as the protectors of the alphabet. Each of them had a very special gem that gave them immense power. M was able to break him free from F using his super strength, allowing him to fly away to safety. But the attacks of N and O were much less successful, barely doing any kind of damage. When it was P's turn to attack, everyone was mesmerized, particularly G, who had been in love with her for as long as he could remember. Oh, He's in love with P! Uh, 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 wait a second, that sounded gross. F used the distraction as a chance to steal N's semicolon gem. With his new power in hand, he retreated back to his cavernous lair, locking up I away for good. After losing the semicolon crystal, N became normal once again. Disgusted by his failure, L and O flew away. One letter in particular, Q, frantically crawled towards the other letters. He seemed desperate to tell them something, but his slow, snail-like body never allowed him to fully reach them. It didn't take long for F to claim another victim. He attacked R and dragged him back to his fortress with I, E, and D. With F lost again, the others needed direction. The letters M, A, and P came together to form a map for G to track down F's location. He was heading straight for S. Try as they might, the heroes were too late to save S. The letter had been eaten by F, slurped down like a spaghetti noodle. <laughs> Slurped down like a spaghetti noodle? Oh, sorry, S. But you just slithered away into F's mouth just like the snake you are. Oh. L and O were the first to arrive. They tried to stop F in his tracks with their magical auras. But F had become too powerful. He easily shrugged off their attacks using the semicolon gem he stole from N earlier and wasted no time collecting the colon and period gems from L and O. He felt all the force energy of the punctuation crystals flowing through him. Soon, no one would be strong enough to defeat him, and his plan would be complete. Wow! After that, F attacked T, smashing him like a hammer into the ground. The other letters tried to stand up to F, but not even M in all his super strength could do any damage to him. F stole M's comma crystal. The only one that stood even the slightest chance was P. She bolted around with supersonic speed, thanks to her exclamation point gem. She was able to land several mighty blows against F, knocking him down to the ground. Still, she was no true match for him. As she charged up her beam attack, F was able to strike her with the comma freeze ray he had just stolen from M, leaving her locked in time. No, P! She's my pup 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 Favorite. F has won. With four of the six punctuation gems in hand, he possessed abilities no other letter would dare to fight. That is, except for C, who had always been brave in the face of danger. Unfortunately, that was his undoing. F viciously attacked C, shredding him like old newspaper. F's work here was done. He flew away with P. The others mourned the loss of their friend C, but realized that if they were to ever defeat F, they would have to get creative. No! F is so strong he's taking away P! I can't tell if he's taking her away because he likes her, or if he's taking her away because he thinks she's a strawberry smoothie, because she's such a pretty pink color. G and N join forces with you in order to form a weapon. Surely, this nope. would be the answer to all their problems, right? Nope. One blast and their nightmare could be all over. They fired F just as he was about to attack V. A direct hit. G, U, and N all rejoice. It was finally over. Wait, what happened? Until What's going on? They realized F had more tricks up his sleeve. Wait, did Somehow, F move? he was able to disguise P as himself. G hadn't saved the day. 
He had shot his love. And with that, a new word inside M's mind is formed. Coward. Coward. M thought back to everyone that had died or been captured. How no one was able to save them, including LMNOP, the supposed saviors of this realm. How was he going to stand up to F now? Meanwhile, F went back to his mountain to prepare for the final phase of his evil plan before being stopped in his tracks by X. Oh. X was a noble warrior. His beaming asterisk gem glistened in the air. His special power was the ability to clone himself. Identical copies of X started to spread out far and wide, surrounding F in waves. The strategy worked. F was perplexed by the clones. He had no idea where to attack, so he surrendered his gems. Being the chivalrous ninja he was, X obliged and put down his gem as well, revealing the true X. Wait, what? X, this is not a time to be nice and fair! If F puts down his gems, that doesn't mean you should put down yours too! You keep your gems and then smackety smack smack F to make sure he goes bye bye for good. But chivalry can also be foolish. Without the element of surprise, X was quickly dispatched by F and his mighty jaws. And with him defeated, F was able to steal his crystal. Now only one punctuation gem remained out of his grasp. As Y mourned the loss of X, F began to set his trap. He plopped against the sides of the wall, creating oozing puddles of disgusting black goo. Then he vomited up S, locking him and R in chains alongside I, E, and D. Ah! See, family, I told you! X shouldn't have done that! Now F ended up defeating X and throwing D and S into his cave! Oh man, these letters are so silly. Clearly, he was trying to spell out something. It seemed that F no longer needed the gems. The crystals placed themselves along the path inside the mountain as a sort of trail heading straight for F. The other letters cautiously entered, and Transfix started to pick up the gems one by one as his team was slowly picked apart. M, U, G, A, Where are they going? All taken away by the gross black darkness spread by F. No. It seemed as no. if N would be next. A giant set of sharp teeth filled the tunnel like a flood, and N was forced to flee. No! The darkness is taking over the alphabet letters! And now they're all really gonna ooh! But even though I thought they already oofed before, I didn't know they're still alive, and no family, I'm confused. But what I do know is that F wants to spell out a specific word, and we gotta figure out what that word is! But instead of killing N, it led him all the way to F's inner sanctum. N wasted no time retrieving the last of the punctuation gems and transforming into his final form, unleashing an attack of rainbow energy directly at F. He's transforming! Whoa! And had done it. He defeated F with the power of love. Or was it actually the power of evil? As N got closer, he finally realized what F was trying to spell. The what? word, what? friends. No one knew how or what F was planning, except the wise Q, who had finally managed to catch up to the others. Q explained to everyone the prophecy he had foretold long ago. F and the other letters used to be younger, so young in fact, that they were all lowercase. And everyone got along, playing and dancing, Wait, so F just wanted to spell out the word friends? Does that mean he's a nice guy and not actually evil? And what's going on with these baby alphabet lore letters? What happened when they were kids? Other than going potty in their diapers. Cause that part I do not need to know. <laughs> and everyone got along, playing and dancing. That is of course, until L and O decided to beat up N. L launched O like a slingshot towards the sad little letter and then mocked his insignificance. F, being the good friend he was, decided to pull off a hilarious prank as revenge. He corralled up the letter A R N T to help him spell fart. The gross flatulence as a result was loud and stinky enough to be heard throughout the entire alphabet, even killing H. <laughs> I'm sorry, H. I know it's really sad that you oofed and stuff, but uh, who the chicken nugget oofed from a stinky fart? That's <laughs> silly. 
but Eleanor would not be made fools of. They smacked F around, stomping and squishing him. It was so sad that the tears F cried became hard and crystallized into the punctuation gems we know today. They pushed F in R-I-C-K to force him to spell one of the only forbidden words in the dictionary. Frick. The other letters were disgusted. How could he? They all teamed up to beat up F even more, punching him around, blasting out his teeth, even tripping him. Whoa, his teeth just came out like pieces of gum. And now funny enough, I don't think he'll ever be able to eat gum again. Hurry, got no teeth! F continued to cry. His final tear became the question mark crystal, the last gem to be completed. It seemed like no one cared for F anymore, so he ran away to the mountain in solitude. As the years passed, F grew older and more bitter. He became an uppercase letter and started preparing his scheme. Deep down, F wasn't evil. He was just lonely and heartbroken and wanted nothing more to be loved once again by his old friends. You see, it's important to realize that no one letter is good or bad. They all come together to make something bigger than themselves. Aww. An alphabet united can quickly become untied and real fun so easily turns into funeral. In the end, the alphabet is what you make of it, and some of the deepest wounds can only be cured by time, and some restful sleep. Whoa! Family! F from the alphabet lore wasn't actually evil this whole time! Just wanted his friends back. Oh, so sad! And family, now it's time to reveal which one of the two origin stories was the real one and which one was the fake. Do you think it was origin story number one or number two? Comment down below your answers because we're about to figure it out in three, two, one. The real one was number two. No. Wait a second, but that one was way more sad. Poor little baby F grew up to never have friends. Oh no. I wish we could all have friends. Even if that only friend is a chicken nugget. Available in November. We all need friends. Family, if you liked today's video, smash like and smash subscribe. Don't forget to turn on all post notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.